Thank you so much to uh, Elba, and uh, we're really here to uh, pay tribute to Tato, to be supportive, to show our love and respect as a community. We have uh, an incredible uh, program and great people being here, so I will not um, give a long speech. I want to welcome everybody on behalf of Eugenio Maria de Hostos Community College. It's a uh, delight for us to be able to be hosting you here. I want to thank uh, the organizing committee. I want to thank uh, Wally Edgecombe here from our center for always making sure um, that our doors are open to important events like this. Um, as you know, college presidents have to thank the sponsors and your board members. So I do want to thank the members of the Hostos Foundation Board, Elba Cabrera, who's our secretary, Carmen Vega Rivera, who's here with us, and Bill Aguado back there, who's the vice president of our... And Dolores que está cobrando, yes. And Dolores Batista, who is uh, acting treasurer today and you know getting the money down there with... Uh, with our dear Juan Flores. So we are honored uh, that we can be supportive of our dear Tato La Vieja, who's such an important part of, um, of Puerto Rican, of Latino, of New York City, a uh, culture of US culture. And uh, he's always found a home here at Hostos for many, many years. And uh, we come as a community to celebrate when times are good. We also have to come and uh, come together when things are a little bit more complicated and we need to support each other and say presente, say te respetamos, te queremos, estamos contigo. Uh, so just know that uh, Ostos is here with you uh, to do that. I want to thank you and uh, I hope that you enjoy uh, the program that we continue being supportive of uh, Tato and his family in, in this time. So again, thank you so much. Quiero dar la bienvenida a toda la gente que quieren a Tato. Uh, no voy a empezar a nombrar porque entonces voy a dejar personas afuera, pero este, Ibrahim González va a coger el manto aquí y va a ser el MC y vamos a tener un, un bembé para Tato. Okay. Es un placer y un honor estar conduciendo este programa esta tarde. Primeramente, antes que nada, quiero darle las gracias de parte de la familia Laviera. Ahora, Más tarde en el programa voy a nombrar los familiares, pero por ahora las gracias van para la doña madrina Elba Cabrera, de parte de la familia Labrera. Labrera. And uh, just a point of information also, where a lot of us artists in the Bronx and beyond, we call madrina, madrina, because Tato, I believe, was the one that gave her that name. So uh, it comes around full circle. I, of course, want to respect my elders and use Doña, but uh, Madrina Elba said, Madrina, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is about Tato Laviera and the tremendous contributions that he has made to the world on behalf of a small but very vocal and powerful people. This combination of American Puerto Rican, Dominican, American. Tato had a way and has a way with words to deconstruct ideas and filter a stream of consciousness into a broader consciousness. All of us in some way or another, whether we know it or not, have been impacted by his work, his words, and his heart. Without further ado, because I want to move the program along, I want to introduce uh, the poets that will be performing tonight one at a time. So first up to the mantle, we will call Carmen De Luca to recite some of Tato's poetry. Carmen. I just remember one poem that Tato had written, and I remember some verse that said, Puerto Rico no me quiero, son de Puerto Rico does not love me. And this is what it is. A Tato La Viera, for Tato La Viera. We are gathered here to tell you that your Puerto Rico loves you. How could Borinquen not love 
such a good looking negrito. Jesus Abraham la viera. Drume negrito, duerme poeta. Jesus Abraham la viera. Your babalao pales, matos ese es. Calabu babambulea through your dreams with while your sugary brown body sleeps in order to heal. Duerme, poeta. Poet, go on. Inhabit that land of sleep as long as you please. Hasta cuando tú quieras. And when you awaken, bring to us the rich harvest of your poems. Jesus Tato la viera. We know that you can feel the constant presence of your devoted sister, Ruth, because you are simply slumbering. Boricua mori vivi. Don't be ashamed. It's all right for a warrior to lie horizontally for a while. Hey, Jesus, Abraham la viera. Una guitarra te espera para darte una serenata con la canción Cortavenas de la gran Silvia Rezach. It's a um, course an honor to be here, and I'm sorry that I'm here for the reason I, I am, but I love Tato and I met Tato maybe tw over 25 years ago, and he's been a great mentor. We gave birth to a new generation, American, broader than lost gold never touched, hidden inside Puerto Rico, mountains. We gave birth to a new generation, American. It includes everything imaginable. You name it, we got it, society. We gave birth to a new generation. American salutes all folklores, European, Indian, Black, Spanish, and anything else compatible. American singing to composer Pedro Flores' palm trees high up in the universal sky. American sweet, soft Spanish danzas, gypsies, moving lyrics, La Española's cascabelling presence, always singing at our side. American beating jibaro, modern troubadours, crying guitars, romantic continental bolero love songs. American across, forth, and across, back, back across, and forth, back, forth, across, and back and forth. Our trips are walking bridges. It all dissolved into itself. The attempt was truly made. The attempt was truly absorbed, digested. We spit out the poison. We spit out the malice. We stand affirmative in action to reproduce a broader answer to the marginality that gobbled us up abruptly. American, walking plena rhythms in New York, strutting beautifully alert, alive. Many turning eyes, wondering, admiring. American, defining myself my own way, anyway, many ways. American with a big R and the accent on the I. Yeah. American, like soul gliding talk of gospel boogie music. American speaking new words in Spanglish tenements, fast tongue moving street corner, que corta talk being invented at the insistence of a smile. American abounding inside so many ethnic English people and out of humanity we blend and we mix all that is good. American integrating in New York and in America but defining our own destino, our own way of life. American defining the new 
America, humane America, admired America, loved America, harmonious America, the world in peace, our energies collectively invested to find other civilizations, to touch God further and further and to dwell in the spirit of divinity. American. America. American. America. Papá Dios está callado. Ya no puede soportar los Puerto Ricans se están orando over time. No dejamos dormir a Dios. Está volviéndose loco con las comiquerías de nosotros, siempre chavándole la vida. Papá Dios está prendido. Los Puerto Ricans están overloading the circuits with numerous requests. Te lo juro. Créemelo, yo te lo advertí, lo escribí. Papá Dios está enfogonado. Debe esto, consígueme aquello, dele luz a mi vida. La computadora tiene cortocircuito. Las operadoras complaining a la supervisora. ¿Qué diablo hablan esas viejas? Rezan el rosario, murmurando como hormigas. Their Spanish is unintelligible. They pray too fast. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de Padre nuestro. Gloria al Padre, a las galletitas y el chocolate caliente. Amén. We don't understand. The angels brought a lawsuit to the Supreme Court of Heaven, protesting Puerto Rican prayers. We cannot pick up their signals. Them Puerto Rican ladies, they pray nonstop. When they pray, they pray for everybody. Their prayers are overflowing their allotted time, and it's working against you, Papa Dios. We cannot answer their prayers. They must be wondering, how come Papa Dios does not reply? They are taking over the English channels. We cannot identify the items, just strictly for yourself. Look at this daily sample. Just those Pentecostals alone, are driving the Holy Spirit insane. All they want is transformations, transformations. We're not coming down on them Puerto Rican bodies. Those crazy people are praying themselves into our jobs. All they want are crazy Indian angels to come down to assist some crazy spiritualists. And we don't understand those native dialects. Papa Dios, please change the laws. Papa Dios got up and said, Bendito, they work so hard. Bendito, they are so passive. I never get angry with my worthy, faithful subjects. It is just that some crazy Puerto Rican poet is misinforming the people. I'm not in Fogo now. Papa Dios ordered a new computerized system to solve the inundation problem. <laughs> but Papa Dios said to please tell them Puerto Ricans that he listened to their every desire if they will give Papa Dios un brequecito, concho, y déjenme dormir, de vez en cuando duerman ustedes, por favor. It's called Commonwealth. No, not yet. No, not yet. I would not proclaim myself a total child of any land. I'm still in the Commonwealth stage of my life, wondering what to decide, what to conclude, what to declare myself. I'm still in the Commonwealth stage of my life, not knowing which ideology to select. I'm still in the Commonwealth stage of my life, all of us, caught up in a web of suspension. Light years away from the Indians' peaceful enclaves, I'm still in the Commonwealth stage of my life, observing the many integrated experiences. We took everything and became everybody else. I'm still in the Commonwealth stage of my life, 
But there's not enough hatred in our hearts to kill each other or to draw blood for too long. Ours is a mental search carved through a mainstream of options. But yet, somewhere in the Commonwealth, we all yearn to feel our strengths, to show our ultimate, to find common wealth among us, to close our eyes, to find the total silence. Silencio, silence, to find not one thing that unites us. Even in silence, we are still in the commonwealth stage of our lives. So let's touch hands, friends and foes, and stay together to hear each other's sounds just for one moment. Let's stay tucked together, and maybe then less options. Maybe then hope. Thank you. Hey yo, yo soy Paratato, whom I've known since we started este movimiento.
Viola Viega composed many beautiful poetry. He, um, in his poetry, he paid tribute to wonderful personalities such as John Lennon, Miriam Makiba, Ismael Rivera, El Sonero Mayor, Celia Cruz, Don Luis Pales Matos, and Juan Boria, just to name a few. This poem is dedicated to Nicolás Cristóbal Guillén Batista, mejor conocido por Nicolás Guillén, his best remember as the national poet of Cuba. Del genio Tato La Viera, su poema Cuban for Nicolás Guillén. Base prieta jeringonza, escondida en lo cristiano. Huracán, huracán secreto, luna, luna llena se desvela, se desborda. Bajó, bajó el cielo, mañana gloriosa. Bajó, bajó el cielo, Espíritu Santo. Bajo el cielo, guaguancó de mambo. Estrellas en coro salen ni llenando. Base prieta, jeringonza, escondida en lo cristiano. Huracán, huracán secreto. Luna llena se desvela, se desborda. Sale. Sale Ocha, camino real, voz maravillosa. Lo que vale, lo que vale es lo que vive en la conciencia. El que sabe de igualdad, en su todo lo comenta. No, no hay quien embabuque al Nietzsche desengañado en el secreto todo, todo se guarda, todo se observa. Base prieta jeringonza es escondida en lo cristiano, huracán, huracán secreto, luna llena se revela, se desborda, se enamora. Se sabe. Se sabe que al dormir hay sueño prieto, ñanjinquero, 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 abacuado cocunero, chagoteando madamas y urbistas, adentro, adentro, adentro el sueño del sueño, otro sueño, yema ya, yema ya de orillas, sacudiendo caderas de, de, de europeos, el origen se preserva, se preserva, se preserva. Al vaivén de ideas claras, al vaivén de ideas claras, ideas claras, ideas claras, ideas claras, caribeñas. Salió el sol. Salió, salió el sol, sus rayos atravesando, rayos, rayos, largas piernas africanas, rayos, rayos, trompetas, charanga europea, rayos, tambores, tambores indígenas encuentran, rayos rompiendo, rompiendo todo, todo, todo esclavo, rayos, 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 rayos preser, preser Bando, colores de resguardo, rayos con los viejos, con los viejos africanos, rayos, 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 <risa> rayos. Libremente exclamando.
somos los mismos. Los mismos éramos. Sí, somos los mismos y aún más. Un, un nuevo cambio. No, 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 no somos. No somos ni negros, ni somos ni africanos. Somos humanos, humanos, respaldándonos. Somos humanos, así. Así que salga el sol. Así que siga la luna, así que salga el sol, así que siga la luna, así que salga el sol, así que siga la luna, así que, así que suba, suba, suba al cielo. Adiós. Adiós. Adiós al sueño. Yo, yo le canto a la lumbre del glorioso despertar. Yo, yo le canto a la lumbre del glorioso despertar. Yo, yo le canto a la lumbre del glorioso despertar. Yo, yo le canto a la lumbre del glorioso despertar. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Gracias por la salud de nuestro amigo Tato Laviera. Que se mejore. Gracias. Welcome. 
combinado la próxima vez. La suerte te vendrá acá en Feria, tú verás. 6 o'clock, South Bronx Tale to form. Don Julio playing 927 for Manhattan Mucura. Thinking of a smarter bet, another dream, the better odds inside the sunset of a New York City night. Here we go. I like and dislike, like the good dislikes the bad in everything, bro. Nothing is better than nothing, bro. I integrate what I like, I reject what I don't like, bro. Nothing of the past that is present is sacred, everything changes, bro. Anything that remains the same is doomed to die. Stubbornness must cover all my angles, bro. Y te lo digo sincerely, my judgment, bro. Mi juicio, bro, bro, bro. I tell you that life is based on the moment, and momento will catch up to you, bro. I always prepare myself for the constant, ever present present moment bro the past the present the future has nothing to do with the moment and yes there are times when i open my blade to cut bro i hope you understand sincerely sinceramente bro that if i wound you you probably deserved it but i'll take you to the hospital if you're still alive and i'll face the charges but if we face each other bro that cara a cara from face to face you will know that you deserve that moment Porque everybody knows I don't cut unless you were meant to be cut, bro. So be careful what you learn from me and be careful not to use it against me. I love you. Tu sabes that I do de corazón, bro. But I might have to kill you, bro. But I hope you survive to be my enemy or my friend. I'll take you alive. Either way, that's the way I think, bro. That's my ideology. You better respect it, bro. Charity, right on. Hey, you're cold, bro. Don't worry. I will kiss you openly on the baseball field. Nobody will mess with you. I know you understood everything I said. I know you don't need a bilingual dictionary. What I said can cut into any language. This is about your life. I know you play no games. I'm glad you paid me, bro. Porque cuentas claras conservan amistades. You know exactly what I mean. Gracias. <laughs> So we're gonna do uh, a poem called My Graduation Speech. I never get to do a graduation speech, so I'm a, I felt like it was, it was just to do it now. I think in Spanish, I write in English. I want to go back to Puerto Rico, but I wonder if my king could live in Ponce, Mayagüez, and Carolina. Tengo las venas aculturadas, escribo en Spanglish. Abraham in Espanol, Abraham in English, Tato in Spanish, Taro in English, Tonto in both languages. How are you? Como estas? I don't know if I'm coming or si me fui ya. Si me dicen barranquitas, yo reply, con que se come eso? Si me dicen caviar, I digo, a new pair of Converse sneakers. Ahí supe que estoy jodido. Ahí supe que estamos jodidos. English or Spanish, Spanish or English, Spanish and English. Now dig this. Hablo lo inglés matado, hablo lo español matado. No sé leer ninguno bien. So it is, Spanglish todo matado. What I digo, Ay, Virgen, yo no sé hablar. Criollo story. I was drunk Sunday morning, sitting in Tompkins Square Park. I was drummed all night. Bomba, plena, guaguango. Sing the dancing, the mix 
mixing up rum into vodka. Lo que venga, bro. Angel of Tonight is to vacillar. Jamaican liqueurs washed in. Constant beers imported, exported, and of course, Colt 45s pistoling into the final killer. Dry red wine. From some crazy punk rocker brother, I tell you that I was drunk. Farts galore. Pigeons fled New York, farts galore. The low east side was on civil alert, farts galore. To tell you the truth, I was dead drunk. Brother Man Tyrone telling me, Brother, you look so bad that if you were Thunderbird wine, I would not even drink a free sample. I was so drunk, I could not even laugh. And then, salvation time for you, Mira Mondongo. I thought Tyrone was goofing on me. You look like a Mondongo yourself. No, 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 no. Not you, Mira. I mean, Umera. For Umera, Mondongo, bro. Adela. She opens at five o'clock. Let's eat some of that tripe. Oh, we walked into Adela's 5.30 morning mountain smell of madrugada simmering concrete Puerto Rican New York radio J.I.T. Cuatro music. Recordando Borenquín. Songs made famous by Don Santiago. Gravy and the crushed plantains. Bolitos rounded boricua matza. All around cleaned vinaigrette tripe and patitas de cerdo. Pig feet softened to a melted, overblown delicacy, brother. And I tell you that down went the Russian vodka. The alcohol disappeared with bites of calabaza pumpkin pieces. And the 100 proof Bacardi was choked by un canto de yaudia. Tubers that were rooting into total decolonization. The European dry red wine was going down and the broth Brother, el caldo condimented garlic onions peppered with whole tomatoes that were melted by the low heat. Ese caldo was woefully seducing the Jamaican liqueurs into compact ability. And down went the Borrachera, bro. And without talking, I looked across to Tyrone's second plate. I thanked my brother with a smile as we kissed Adela. And what the hell? We took the number six into Orchard Beach on section three. And we blew sun as we had serenaded the moon. Um, and of course thank the family and the folks that put this together. I'm going to read something from his book called Enclave, que se llama Unemployment Line. Pablo Pueblo City man, unemployed man, stands 20th in line. Pablo Pueblo City man, unemployed man, stands 15th in line. 
Pablo Pueblo City, man, unemployed man stands fifth in line. Pablo Pueblo City, man, unemployed man stands first in line on the unemployment circle. Usted me puede atender. Usted me puede atender. He esperado en esta línea y aunque yo no sepa inglés, deme, deme el privilegio de acercarme hacia usted. Oiga usted, me puede atender un trabajo, yo quiero tener. Yo vengo de la cantera por el paso de un avión. Aquí en el sur del Bronx llegué a buscar una fortuna y aprender un poco inglés. Oiga usted, ¿me puede atender? Me mandaron aquí ayer, me mandaron allá antier. Y antes de ayer, el mes se fue, pasaron tres y ya tengo diez. Me encuentro abajo y deprimido. Oiga usted, ¿me puede atender? ¿Usted me puede atender? ¿Usted me puede atender? ¿Usted me puede atender? Después de esta letanía, hablé con la señorita de este bebé. Y ella, con una risa que no era linda, con una gracia que era maldita, me dijo así, así, así. Please speak in, in English. Speak English, sir. Don't understand a word you say. Speak English, sir. Don't understand a word you say. Usted me puede atender. Me caso en diez. Usted me puede atender. Me caso en diez. Basta ya. Atiéndeme. Basta ya. Atiéndeme. 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 Basta ya. Pablo Pueblo City Man, unemployed man, stands outside the unemployment circle. They made a check for him on the spot. Yeah. This is called Mija. I've been dying to call you, Mija, to tell you that last night I was celebrating nothing. Nothing to do, no money, no dress, nothing, Mija. Un tremendo down. Life is hard, even on my birthday. Eso te pasa a ti también, ¿verdad? But then it all changed. Mama called, she cooked a comidita, and she sewed a nueva blusita, real nice, and she baked my favorite postre. And one of my padrinos remembered, and there was an envelope waiting. And of course, I could have called him, mija, and he would have been kneeling at my door, but my pride insisted on my pride Anyway, my family had remembered, yo estaba llenita, and mama gave me a big abrazo, and I blew out the candles, and I said to myself, the hell with it. I'm going to get me a sexy dress. Even if I have to bite my nails tomorrow for falling behind on all my payments, pero mija, I bought a sexy dress. And I went to the Corso, knowing <laughs> that he would find me there. But I was gonna go and boogie and dance so freely, I saw the tension in his jealous eyes, and he came to me to the school pal, say. And I really, oh God, I really wanted him. Anyway, so muchas luces y boleros y besitos y besos de resto, mi amiga, ya tu sabes, nena, Lo celebré bien chévere, pero bien, bien chévere. Te lo puedo contar a ti todo. Para eso somos amigas. Forty-three years ago, Tanto La Viera was almost killed on Pitt Street in Houston because some Sicilians thought he looked like me. He never forgot that, neither did I. He said he protested successfully that he was darker than I was, and therefore he was not me. They wanted a young lord. They didn't know they had an old lord there. <laughs> After that, he taught me, and I'll say this very quickly because I know we're rushed for time, he and me and Ruti um, went to Puerto Rico, to the Fiesta de la Aldea. There are black Puerto Ricans who are black neutrally. They never want to deal with it. 
There are black Puerto Ricans who see themselves as black negatively, always criticizing, we can never do enough. And then there are blacks who respond to negritude with affirmation. Tato La Viera was always un negrito positivo. He never allowed racism or even within our own culture, especially in the outside culture, to define him or to delineate him. And I'll never forget that about him. He was a wonderful, wonderful man. I was at a... <laughs> and so this poem was shocked me because since we always were into ourselves and into the contradictions in American society, which by the way still exist, um, I don't have to tell you, this poem shocked me. And it shocks me because of the humanity of it. It's called Boricua. We are a people who love to love. We are loving lovers who love to love, respect, the best intentions of friendship. And we judge from the moment on, no matter who you are, and if we find sincere smiles, we can be friends. And if we have a drink together, we can be brothers on the spot, no matter who you are. And we have a lot of black and white and yellow and red people whom we befriend. We're ready to love with you. That's why we say, let there be no prejudice on race. Color is generally colorblind with us. That's our contribution. All the colors are tied to our one, but we must fight the bad intentions. We must fight, we must respect each other's values, but guess what? We're not the only ones and we offer what your love has taught us and what you're worth in our self-respect. We are a people who love to love, who are loving lovers who love to love, respect. Thank you everybody, welcome. It's so great to see all these wonderful people for this wonderful person, Tato, so special. I mean, really, really special guy. Those of you who knew him know what I'm talking about. And uh, it's been a pleasure to, to, to know him and to hang out with him and work with him. And we traveled a lot together and uh, it's just been terrific. And he's also somebody that, that I've had occasion to write about his work and, and try to put it into a context. And so we had a lot of discussions and some of the poems that, that he came up with, I noticed they they, they kind of reminded me of the conversations that we had. You know, it's almost like he put the discussion into a poem and made it into a poem. And one of them is one that I'd like to share with you, uh, only because he did dedicate it to me. Which I, so I'm very honored about this one. So you might know this poem, Tito Madera Smith. Yeah! Okay. So let, let me try my hand. I'm not myself. I'm not myself a poet. But some of you evidently know this poem. I think it's a wonderful poem. And here's how it goes. He claims he can translate Palais Matos black poetry faster than I can talk. And that if I get too smart, he will double translate Pig Latin English right out of Webster's Dictionary. Do you know him? He claims he can walk in, into East Harlem apartment where Langston Hughes gives Spanglish classes for newly arrived immigrants <laughs> seeking a bolitero numbers career and part-time vendors of cuchifritter, cuchifritters Sunday afternoon in Central Park. Do you know him? <laughs> he claims to have a stronghold of the only Santeria secret Baptist sect in West Harlem. Do you know him? He claims he can talk Spanish style in Sunday dress eating crab meat hueyes brought over on the morning eastern plain deep fried by La Negra Costoso joyfully singing Puerto Rican folklore Maria Luisa, no sea brava, llévame contigo para la cama. Or, oiga, Capitán Delgado, hey, Captain Delgado, manda a revisar la grama, please inspect the grass. Que dicen que, que, que un aeroplano, they say that an airplane throws marijuana seeds. Do you know him? Yes, you do. You know you know him. That's right, Madera Smith, Tito Madera Smith. He blacks and Prieto talks at the same time. 
splitting his mother's Santurce talk, twisting his father's South Carolina soul, adding New York scented blackest Harlem brown eyes diddy bops to Sabe Mami that I can ski like a bomba, soul salsa mambo turns to Aretha Franklin Stevie Wonder nicknamed Patato Wawanko Steps. Do you know him? <laughs> he Puerto Rican talks to Las Mamitas outside the Pentecostal church and he gets away with it. Fast pace, I understand you, my man, with clave sticks coming out of his pockets, hooked with a stereophonic 15 speaker indispensable disco sounds blasting away at cold reality, struggling to say, is that buena, baby? As he talks, walks out of tune and out of step with Alleluia Cascabels, Puma sneakers, pants rolled up, shirt cut in middle chest, Santeria chains, Madamo Pantallas into the Spanish social club to challenge elders in dominoes like the king of El Diario's Budweiser tournament, drinking cerveza beer like a champ. Do you know him? Well, I sure don't. And if I did, I'd refer him to 1960s social scientists for assimilation, acculturation, digging autopsy into their heart attacks. Oh, oh, there he comes. You can call him Tito. You can call him Madera. You can call him Smitty, or you can call him Mr. T, or you can call him New Rican, or you can call him Black, or you can call him Latino, or you can call him Mr. Smith. Has his sharp eyes of awareness greeting us in an aristocratic harmony. You can call me many things, but you gotta call me something. Tato, unbeknownst to me, was my writer poet in residence for about five years. He would always get the money from me and, he, and how he sold himself to the world, it didn't matter. <laughs> so we wound up in this taping on Friday afternoon, an ABC public affairs program that was gonna go on the air on a Sunday morning. And it was two o'clock when we finished, 2.30. It was early. So we walked across the street to this that this Irish bar that doesn't exist anymore. And we stayed there to about 5.30. Who knows, maybe six, maybe five, I don't remember. And I know Dato doesn't remember. And the guy who was interviewing us on ABC, I know he never remembered. <laughs> so we took a cab ride. We decided to go to my friend's shoe store, who was, close, was closing it down. And we had a closeout sale, so we, and I always knew he had a couple of bottles in the back, so Dato, the unnamed person from ABC and myself, <laughs> hopped in the cab, went to 49th Street and, and, and Lexington Avenue, somewhere there. And we went into the back and started drinking, continuing to drinking. And then Dato was starting to recite. He went to do a musical, and he started to perform. And I said, Dato, I really don't want to listen to this. <laughs> But what happened was, as my buddy was closing the store, and some of you know him, Harold, uh, three guys walked in, and they want to rob him. So Tato and I got into this huge argument. I wanted to continue drinking, he wanted me to listen. And the guy from ABC was, was mumbling something about his wife in Yonkers is gonna kick his ass. So the argument, Meanwhile, my friend who sees these three guys coming in is trying to warn us to be quiet. And Tato and I got louder. So we got out there and we got into this argument in front of these three guys. And Tato took a swing at me. You know, Tato doesn't take a swing at anybody. He, that's how I can infuriate people. Tato took a swing at me. And the ABC guys started laughing. And I'm saying, you know, what's going on here? And, and these three guys who really had their hands in their pockets were, they weren't afraid, they start to laugh. <laughs> and finally, I agreed to let Dato turn it into a musical. Cause I, I mean, I really couldn't stand it anymore. These three guys walked out and they actually bought a pair of shoes and walked out. <laughs> we, we went back and, and <laughs> The guy from Yonkers, the ABC guy, was asleep, so I didn't know how he got home. He, my friend may have locked him in the store. Dato, I don't know where he was going, and I don't know where he went, but he went. 
and my buddy and I went out to dinner. But Monday morning, that was in my office bright and early. Unfortunately, I was never in my office bright and early. <laughs> and to remind me of the commitment I made to produce his musical. <laughs> Well, first and foremost, I want to thank everyone for uh, acknowledging my uncle uh, in this manner. Um, he's here in spirit. He's doing well. So um, if there's some emotion, don't worry about that. It's just emotion, okay? So one of my favorite, uh, po one of my favorite poems that my uncle ever wrote, which he always let me recite at all his recitals in Chicago, uh, New York, all over the place, um, is called, it's called Serious Dude. Uh, among many, um, so we spent a lot of time together. He raised me, so I'm grateful to all of you for being here. So I speak on behalf of my family, the Sanchez Lavera family, and I'm grateful. Okay, so this is what we're doing. So here we go. Series do. Yes, yeah, see, I like her. He gave. What's wrong with that? I don't care who she's in love with. I'm in love with her, and I'm not gonna deny it, bro. Yo no lo voy a negar. So what, so I'll never kiss her. Hey, you can't have everything, but I dig the way she walks. I mean, she walks like some conga drums, playing clave on time. And yet, see, I want her, I want her. It's not her, it's me, it's my fantasies, bro. It's what turns me on. And when she looks at herself in the mirror, I want her to know that I'm there. And so what if I never kiss her? Hey, you can't have everything. But she'll live with my, she'll live with my memory. I'm not afraid to tell her that I love her. I want her to feel strong and secure. I want her to feel strong and secure that somebody likes her, that somebody loves her. You dig? And in her private moments, I know I make her happy. I know, because I'm bad, that's why. Because I treat her with life span, that's why. And that one day, un dia, she'll walk my proud jitterbug down this vecindario, brother man. And when she does, I expect you to step aside. And I mean that. So, yes. so I'm gonna read another one real quick, okay? And it explains all of us, or many of us. It's called Puerto Rican, okay? And this one I know by heart too, but it's been a while. So, um, silk smooth ivory, polished into brown, tan, black soul, leaning back, looking proud. Casual community conversations based in mental admiration, how highly we claim our worth. Summer chanting beats. Thank you, I appreciate it. Everyone here, my family does. This is on behalf of my uncle, all right? Before we go to the music, I want to call up La, La Viera family to the stage. David and Ella and Ruth, please, all of you. And, and the wife, please, come on up. Let's give them a round of applause, please. This is uh, my cousin, Ruteya Laviera, right here. Yes. Uncle's, my uncle's first daughter, right here, only daughter, right here, so. Wow. Hi. Um, again, I, I walked in today, and the minute I saw my dad's hat, I got real. Emotional. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So. Um, Papa hasn't been able to speak for three months, and this is the first time that I heard him. And I thank all of you so much for, for your support, for your love, and for bringing his voice alive. So thank you. This is my mother, my uncle's sister that has been right by his side the whole time. We're not done, it ain't over. So, uh, you know, 
He has a lot of good progress, and uh, we're looking for the positive outcome. Well, the first thing I want to say, and I know all of you know me, and I don't like to talk, but I thought uh, Ibrahim that I didn't want to talk, but I have to talk. And what I want to say is thank everybody who's here. And this morning, I sit in his bed, and I saw all his hats, and I said I should wear one of his hats tonight. And I called Nitsa Gutierrez, Dr. Nitsa Gutierrez, and I said, Nitsa, you think it's okay for me to wear his hat? And she said, yes. But when I came here, and Nancy saw me with the hat, she said to me, that's his community hat. He called it his community hat. So in honor of him, I do this to all of you, and I thank you. I cannot talk because I'm emotional. And I thank everybody, and I love her. Baby. Baby, I must say, I love you, my brother. Okay, you really, really, really surprised me to see you here. I love everybody. And all the poets out here that uh, recited his poetry so specially, you know? Um, I knew a lot of them. I knew a lot of them that you were reading, and I know I speak for him. So um, thank you very much in holding him in such high regard. Okay? I just want to say thank you to Madrina. Madrina, come here, please. <laughs> Gracias para todo esto, de nuestro corazón, de verdad. Tú eres nuestra familia. Y todos ustedes, As you can see, we have a small, small family, so thank you, because all your love and support makes us know that we're not alone, and your prayers and everything really make us feel like we have a large family, so thank you. Thank you. Oh, David, yeah, my cousin David shocked me today. I didn't know, I didn't know you, uh, there you are. I didn't know you were such a poet, too. I'm so proud, yeah. I'm moments. Is anyone else? No? Okay. So thank you on behalf of all of us. And you know what? I want to I thank El Centro because we're recording this because El Centro made this possible to record this for us to have it for his iCAD. So I want to thank them too. I have to thank every one of you. Uh, this activity, this event, Tatos Benbe, uh, we did it in two weeks. And I have to thank Elena and Rosalie. Uh, it's just, of course, Ruth, but Malta, Malta, Malta. Thank, thank all of you. But first of all, if it wasn't for Felo, uh, the the president Felix Matos Rodriguez and his staff, the VP Carillon, we wouldn't have had the space. Um, it's just been wonderful the way people have come out and supported Tato, and uh, I know that he's here with us, and he'll always be here with us. I had, I'm going to cry, <laughs> but a mí me llama la llorona de la casa. My sister, my sister Evelina used to say, mira, él va la llorona, she takes the title. And I did because I would cry and cry and cry, but that's okay because I got my emotions out. Um, I have to say this, and, and, and uh, Ibrahim said it, but yes, Tato said, I'm going to call you Madrina from now on. Tato started it and everybody picked up. And I, I have to point someone out that has been such a dear friend throughout, and that's David Diaz. Visiones. <laughs> and what Bill said about uh, that I taught them to drink, don't believe him. They taught me how to drink. 
And I can tell you one thing, we had a lot of fun. We had fun at Rupert's, at, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> at Ochentas, and Tato would dance with three and four women at a time. Lala, right? You you can uh, attest to this. And let me tell you, he, este un trompo bailando, un trompo. Uh, I thank all of you. We have some wine. Oh, no, but we don't, we're not finished with the program because we're going to have the planeros. Yeah, but you know, Madrina, yeah. I want to acknowledge uh, Juan Flores. Juan Flores. 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 Uh, William Lewis, who been right there. Yeah. He was in China. He called me from China every day about Tato. So you know, I want to thank Florecita Te Quiero. I, I just have to acknowledge, you know what? On this list, I have the people that helped. So I don't want to, but I also want to acknowledge our assemblyman, Roberto Rodriguez. Oh. And I have to tell you, I have to tell you that Tato, Tato and I, Hung out with your dad at Rupert's. <laughs> Luis Cordero, I'm sorry. The names are here, but Luis has been tremendous. That poster you saw outside, that's Luis. So I just, I just have to say this: that everybody do, just, just was great. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
Ya veo. Porque este grupo de aquí se ve. Ah, está aquí atrás. Ok. Otra medita más para que vayan que estén disfrutando. Para ahí no ven. Eh, hablen de ustedes de todo el corazón, porque sé que no se han visto mucho. Y eh, les quiero dar las gracias de nuevo a Elenia, a Elenia Martínez y a todos los que estuvieron aquí pasando. O a Inesco, a Hostos. A este saludo de la fe.